Rangers have a new set of sticks. First and 10 from the Bushland 39. All red just off the left side hash mark. The give is to Colby Hall. Gets through one wave. Gets down to a line of scrimmage and first down territory and more. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line as Colby Hall takes it for 19 yards on the carry. At least. That may be a little more over there on the yeah, sideline. 39, line. 21 yards. From there 39 you go. to the 18. Colby Hall with a first so down early. So get the kids in those... Uh, Perryton Activity Center practices so they can uh, play uh, more basketball. That information coming up after this play. All red drops back in the pocket. Throw to the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown, Rangers. Logan Lemunyan from 12 yards out. First score of the ball game belongs to Hadley Allred Hadley to the Allred back of the end zone to Logan Lemunyan. Six to nothing, Rangers in front. He was all alone on an island by himself. Basketball signups end October 30th, and they won't start those until other sports are over with. Football, volleyball, and soccer are currently underway at the Perryton Activity Center. Proud supporters of present and future Rangers and Rangerettes. Snap is good. Lemunyan's hold is good. And the kick by Torres is up, and it's good. 9-14 left to go in the first quarter. The Rangers take it down the field in 2 minutes and 46 seconds and score. And we'll be back Hand after this. Was founded on agriculture. Rangers playing tight coverage as motion now comes from the bottom to the top, and Bushland will actually get a late substitution off the field and a new wide out or running back coming into the field as Sean Meadows comes in late, and they'll have two backs in the backfield with one out split wide left. Mathis will fake the handoff. No, he gives it to the return player, and the running back will go nowhere. Meadows can't spin out of the tackle over there on the far side sidelines, and Meadows is dropped for a loss, if not getting back to the original line of scrimmage. He is. He's given a loss of a yard on the play as that play was blown dead uh, on the other side on the visitor sidelines. Loss of a yard, fourth and three now. Good defense there by the Rangers. Great pursuit by the guys in red. Rigdon has dropped back deep on his 15-yard line, and they'll run the fake with the running back, the punter, and he gets the first down. Wow. That's something to watch for as Boston Andrews comes into the ball game as the punter. And the Rangers uh, move from left to, left to right across your listening device. 534 left in the first. It's a pass play. All red looks right, throws down the field, and it's picked off. Rigdon was the intended receiver at the 41-yard line, and the receiver was shadowed on the play, and stepping in front of that was Jaron Alvarado, the offensive lineman covering one of the fastest players on the field. Alvarado picks the ball off, and the Falcons will have it first down and 10 from the Perryton 40-yard line. Oh, my. Alvarado defensively lines up for the Falcons at the defensive linebacking position. Second down Actually, goal to go from just in between the three and four yard line as the Falcons bring in a kind of a heavy package with three running backs back in the backfield. And the main back will be Sean Meadows who carried the ball a moment ago. He'll get the call. Dances through traffic in the end zone. Touchdown Falcons. Sean Meadows from three yards out. And the Falcons are one point away from tying it up. Long pass play set up by Andrews, who not only can punt it, run it, but he also can throw it, and his receiver helped him out a bunch because that ball was thrown into a spot where only Love could speed up and get to it just a moment ago, and now the Falcons are waiting for one player to come out on special teams unit. They only have 10 on the field, and an 11th player comes in and fills that gap over on the left side. The point after attempt coming up from John Hamus. And the snap is good, the hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. 434 left to go in the first quarter. Bushland ties it up, 7 all on the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. He's a spark plug and adds a lot of hope. The 5'5", 145 pound back in there behind all red in the shotgun. Now second down and two after the gain of eight. Here's Somerville, circles around, gets running room to midfield and is tackled inside of Bushland territory. That's enough for a first down as Caden Somerville goes for eight yards and it's a new set of downs with Perryton inside of Bushland territory at the 30, at the 48 yard line. Here's Somerville now, still in there, running back. 
Allred fakes him the handoff, goes through the middle, pass is complete. It's going to be Trent Ottinger with a first down pass and catch inside the 35 to the 34. Baker split out wide right as that's the short side of the field. Trips up to the top. They scramble. Lemunion and others, and it's complete to Rigdon right at the first down marker. That's going to be a gain of at least 14 and a half, maybe 15, and if it is, it's going to be a new set of downs for the Rangers inside the 25 at the 24. Beautiful night for football. We bring in our uh, third man on the crew here in just a moment. Is the uh, quick spot? Are they going to spot it fourth? What are they doing here? Brad Herring, you've got a view up there. What do you see? I thought they, I I thought they spotted it for a first down. They needed Maybe. 15. It looked like they got it. It may be inches. Yeah, it's a first got down. It. Brad, we're going to talk 10 Rangers as they can get a first down just outside the two-yard line as the ball is spotted on the 12, first and 10. Trips to the left. Fager out wide right. Short side of the field is left. Here's all red back in the pocket. Throws to Somerville in the flat. Goes beyond two receivers or two defenders, wow. that is, and goes to the five-yard line and <laughs> is tripped up there. One shoestring tackle away from taking it to the house. Tanner Latham spooled the party for Caden Somerville, but he picked up six on the pass and catch. Well, that, there was four guys and had him pin that time, and he just split them and almost scored. Somerville with a quick scat back gear as he starts out quickly and has that low center of gravity. Now, ball spotted on the right side hash. The give will go to Somerville. Whoop! Turns around, goes to the goal line. Waiting for the call. Why, why, why would you wait on Touchdown. that? Touchdown! All right, that's, he was in Kay easily. Caden Somerville takes it to the house as he takes it in for the score after going to the left and then did the whoop de doo and turned around to the right and slanted it into the end zone. When he turns north and south, he just has a great burst of speed. You can really see that on film. He's got a B button on his little yeah. uh, game controller. <laughs> Supercharged. Here's the point after coming. The hold is good by Lemunion. The kick is up by Torres, and it's good. 125 left to go in the first quarter. Carrington answers the score with one of their own, and they lead it 14 to 7 on the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. Well, they had great field position. They already have run six plays in this drive, and they're still trying to get the ball in the end zone. And we'll see what Coach Thomas does for the Falcons if they don't make it here. Here's Mathis back in the pocket, looks left, can't throw that way, has a receiver wide open, touchdown, Boston Andrews got open around the pylon on the right side, come out of the backfield, nobody covered him, and Mathis was able to throw a strike for the score. Boston Andrews and Mathis hook up on the six-yard TD pass and catch. Yeah, if you have a man coverage in the secondary, it's uh, not too hard for a linebacker. He may take one false step to lose the back out of the backfield, and Boston Andrews just found himself open, sat down in the corner of the end zone and waited for the ball. Here's the snap. The kick is good. Tied up at 14 with a buck 22 left to go in the first half on the radio tonight on 98.3 KXDJ. Next week will be the bye week for the Rangers. Then they'll travel to Iowa Park, then home against Vernon, and then the closer at Dalhart. Torres gets loose in the open field, runs to the 45-yard line, and refuses to go down, and will finally be tackled at the 46. Torres with a first down carry, and he runs down the field with abandon, and he picks up a new set of downs. Second down and six after the run by Torres. Nice piece of running by Torres in a backup role with Kobe Hall out defensively and offensively. Torres comes out of the backfield on the pass. It's caught by uh, Ottinger. Ottinger inside the 35 to the 34 on the pass and catch. That's good for a nice breaker. Move the chains. It's a first down and 10 for Trent Ottinger. Two Logan Lemunion and Trent Townsend split out wide left. Ottinger and Newcomb split out wide right. It's a fake to the running back and down the field. The pass is caught at the 13 yard line. That's good enough for a first down is that's Dalton Rigdon who occupies that spot on the far left side as he snuck in there after that last play. Rigdon and Lemunion unit and probably wisely take a lead into the locker room. Hard to take points off the board after such a gallion effort by both of these teams. I think that scoring is definitely a premium here tonight. And for sure, they come out of it 
and they'll throw it. What are Thank. they doing? It's Lemunyan looking for someone to throw it to. To the pylon! Does he get it? He touches the pylon, but does he score? He'll have the first yes. down, and it's a touchdown! Oh, my! Yeah, Lemunyan, with the hold, takes it in for the score! Or you could fake it. <laughs> well, a little bit of uh, Bushland's own medicine there as they faked the punt earlier, and this time the Rangers, that was a that's distracting when the kicker starts running off the field. What's going on? And then the holder picks it up and runs for the pylon and just got a piece of it. Touchdown, Logan Lemunyan. Wow. They're going to talk about this to see if the motion man was illegal or not. And they're going to... Well, in the old days, he was illegal. I don't think they can call it because he was going away from line of scrimmage. One man in motion. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Rangers. Logan Lemunyan with the fake field goal comes in and... Takes it in for six. Oh, my. How cool is that? Pretty cool. 9.5 seconds left to go, and Perryton may take a seven to nothing, a seven-point lead into the locker room. There's the snap and the hold and the kick. It is good. 9.5 seconds left to go in the first half. Perryton goes to the back page of the playbook and puts off the fake field goal and takes it in for the score. We'll have Coach Blonde tell you about the recap of that drive when we come back in 30 seconds on 98.3 KXDJ. As well as Torres on the play, moves the ball to the 40-yard line, gain of about eight on the play, second and two. Mathis calls for a quick snap, hands it off to Andrews, into the secondary, big gainer inside the 30 to about the 26, and the ball is loose, and Perryton may have the fumble recovery, and they do turn over Bushland, and Perryton will have the ball. Looked like Sean Walton may be the man that came up with it on the running play by Andrews, who's normally sure-handed and like a bull through a china closet, but he drops the ball on the turf, and Perryton takes off with the turnover. And Only that's the a 28 big one. inside of Perryton territory after the turnover. All red with a back in there. That's Somerville. He'll get the call. Zipping through traffic. He's got a breaker and more. Caden Somerville to midfield, and he will not be denied. Somerville to the 42-yard line, and the little spark plug that could takes it inside of Bushland territory for a new set of downs. 30-yard pickup there by Somerville. Almost doubled his yardage in one play. He had 32 yards prior to that play. Now 62 yards in the ball game, and more importantly, a big range of first down. Somerville red right now the back. wide out to the left side, squeezes in to near the line, all red with a good pocket. Dances through that pocket and has to scramble. He'll have the first down and more. Down the sidelines, inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. Steps out of bounds, and that's good for 14 yards on the pound. The uh, scramble play by Hadley Allred showing good scramble uh, ability to get out of that pocket and run the football. Well, last year, first down Boston, 10 uh, Boston Andrews carried the ball 20 times for 59 yards. Tonight, 19 times for exactly twice that much. At this point, 118 yards in the ball game here in the third quarter. Mathis in the shotgun, good push by the line. Mathis throws it to the end zone. Love outruns the coverage, score, touchdown Bushland. Boy, Love has some terrific closing speed and Love may have pulled a, some kind of uh, muscle there as he comes up a little gimpy, but man, when he's asked to put it into another gear, he just motors past Trent Townsend there for the score. And Bushland is a point after away from tying this ball game up. Love on the backbreaker is able to score from 31 yards out. 21-20 with the PAT upcoming. Snap is good. Hold is good. The kick is up. Best one of the night from Bushland. It's good. 21 all as we play here in the third quarter with 323 left on the radio on 98-3 KXDJ. Here's all red. Back in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Looks down the field. Good. Pocket containment, all red to the end zone, wide open, touchdown Rangers. Lemunyan. That's Dalton Rigdon oh, with okay. the score yeah. in the corner of the end zone. Got a wide open look and Hadley Allred found him at the pylon. How do you get that wide open? Oh my. Rigdon's first score in a while. As he ran the last one for uh, the uh, long 76-yarder, as I recall. It was a 64-yard reception that was the deciding points against Pampa last week. It was a score, but it was the only catch of the game. Tonight he's caught six. The PAT is good after Lemunyan 
had a difficult time with the snap, but he made the most of it. And what about the patience by Torres there, waiting on his holder to spot the ball and then the quick soccer-style kick through the uprights. Perryton scores and leads 28-21 with 2.14 left to go here in the third quarter on the radio on 98.3 KXDJ. There is already that noticed that they had zeros on the clock you know, with 12 minutes left in the ball game. He thought that might need to be fixed. Here's the first play from scrimmage. It's a handoff to Somerville breaking through. He's the little push the B button on your playset because Caden Somerville explodes for a big gain after being held in the backfield. He got a little boost there, and wow, can he explode off the start? 12 yard pickup by Somerville, and that. Puts him right at the doorstep of 100 yards, and he started kind of late. He kind of gave First it a jump two. out of the blocks, but got back quickly. Somerville changes position, and now Allred will give it to Caden Somerville. He's got first down yardage and more. Breaks a big one. He could go all the way to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Caden Somerville in for the score. Oh, my. That could have been. A uh, late hit over there. The guy hit him when he was uh, two steps across the goal line. But I don't think Caden mind the little shot as he scampers 42 yards for the touchdown. Somerville early in the season did uh, suffer an injury. And so we'll watch for uh, that. He did take a late shot. And he's off the field with a, a little bit of uh, where am I at, coach, as he takes his headgear off. Maybe he's just winded on the play. That's what we hope. The PAT is blocked. It'll be a chance for a return as Boston Andrews runs down the sideline. If the 40-yard line, it'll be taken down like Logan, Logan Lemunion. PAT fails. Fourth down coming up. Mathis with the shotgun snap rolls to the right. He goes to the end zone. Hit at the goal line, but should get in if they do call it, and he does. Mathis takes contact at the pylon, but is able to stretch the ball over the goal line. Touchdown, Bushland. This may be a chance where Bushland thinks about going for two here. Yeah, they wouldn't gain much by doing that because they only trail by six if this is a good kick. So if they went for two and didn't make it, they'd still trail by a touchdown and an extra point. Coming on for the extra point is John Hamus. Hamus, the right foot kicker, waiting for the snap. The hold is good. The kick is up, and it's a laser, and it's through. 440 on left on think that the game is over with by any means. A couple of first downs will seal the deal, but they do need to move the football. Here's Somerville waiting for blockers. He's off to the races, to the 40, and inside the 40. Wow, a it's a new set of downs for Caden Somerville. 14-yard pickup into, into Bushland territory. What a great big play that was. He sees the seam, and he just puts it into the little scat gear, presses the B button on the little controller. There he goes. If I was playing PlayStation right now, Brad, I'd be having all kinds of points on you. Yeah. There's a large part of the population knew what you mean. Yeah, I'm glad you went ahead and explained it. I had no clue what B button was. That PlayStation, man. Never Come played back it. and join us for the post-game show, won't you? Perryton wins 34-28 over Bushland. Back in three minutes on 98.3 KXDJ.